A heavy lead block and a light aluminum block of equal size sit at rest at the bottom of a pool of water. Is the buoyant force on the lead block greater than, less than, or equal to the buoyant force on the aluminum block? And then they give you some choices. So here we have some water. And then at the bottom of the pool down here, we have a lead block and we have an aluminum block. And pretend these guys are exactly the same size. So let's say we have lead is this one and aluminum is this one. So buoyant force is the amount of water or the volume of water that we are dispersing or pushing out. Due to gravity, all the little particles of water in here, they're all getting pulled down by gravity the same, right? So gravity is squishing all these guys together. And so, since they're all squishing together, they're all pushing on each other. And so if we're to stick something in the middle of these, like this lead block and aluminum block, the water is going to still push on them as if it was water. So the um, buoyant force is the volume of water that we're pushing out. Um, buoyant force and buoyant force. So if we were to actually write out what the equation is, it's the density of water times gravity times the volume that, of water that we're dispersing. So even though the lead is way more dense, all we care about is the density of the water itself, which of course is the same. Gravity of course isn't changing and their volumes are identical as well. So in this case, the dispersion force is proportional to the volume of water that we're pushing out. So the buoyant force for both of these will be exactly the same.